Tacos, tacos de carne asada. Son light. Son light, los tacos. You can eat as many as you want because you made them. Hello and welcome. Today I'm super excited to finally get to this highly requested recipe, which is tacos de carne asada. You guys know I can take you out to grill, but it's about 110 degrees outside, so I'm gonna show you how to make the bomb.com tacos de carne asada in your house. We have two salsas we're making. We're making our carne asada and my tortillas. I already showed you guys how to make a dozen, so quit playing, all right? Let's go ahead and cook this up because it's gonna be like a party in your house, so let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> what we're gonna do first is we're gonna season our chuck steak. I like making carne asada with chuck steak because it's very forgiving, okay? And you can make this with ribeye. You can make it with your favorite cut of meat. For me, chuck is uh, tender enough. It absorbs a really good flavor, and it's not something you have to marinate for a long period of time. It's ready when you are. I'm gonna go ahead and start seasoning this with a little bit of uh, chicken bouillon. And the reason I'm using this today is because I'm gonna share something with you guys. When I first started cooking on my own, you know, being the lady of my house, I, no matter what cut of meat I used, Guess what? It tasted gamey. It didn't have that good flavor that my mom used to give it. So I had to learn how to mask that with a little bit of chicken bouillon. But if you guys have salt, make sure to season this with a little bit of salt. But I know my first, um, my new housewives, new homemakers, ladies and gents, you guys know what I'm talking about. When you're trying to find your way in the kitchen and the flavor just doesn't come through, the chicken bouillon is going to help you out. Okay. Just tap that right in. And this is about a pound of chuck that I'm using. And then um, for the carne asada, I think pepper really tastes delicious, black pepper. So go ahead and eyeball that and add your, add your black pepper to taste. You know, there's some elaborate styles of marinades, but I'm just giving you guys the starter marinade so that later on in the future you guys can say oh okay now I get it because we know how to do the basic one now we can go ahead and get a little advanced to marinate this um, not marinate to season this uh, carne asada steak what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon okay but if you're gonna leave it marinating overnight don't add your lemon unless you're combining other things to it then yes but other than that it's gonna cook the meat um, kind of like it does to ceviche and you don't want that you want to cook it warm but you still want a little bit of that flavor okay so let me go ahead and get my pan pretty hot so that we can get this started okay I like um, I like making the carne asada when it's indoors on a nice cast iron it just gives me those grill marks that I'm looking for you guys know I've shown you in the other uh, marinades and fajita style things that we've made um, but you guys asked me a lot for a basic carne asada taco and I'm gonna tell you this might be basic ingredients but there's nothing basic about this taco like whatsoever. I think that's the one thing that all of us when we make our taco, it just like amplifies any kind of feeling that if you're if you're ever if you have a touch of love in your soul when you're making carne asada tacos, it comes out. So be ready. Yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my chuck steak. And I'm gonna let it get its marks here. And I'm going to keep it here for a good four to five minutes. And while this is cooking, I'm going to get started on my tortillas in the back. Okay, friends, it's been about six minutes for me. I'm about to turn this steak over. Flip it.
So I'm gonna go ahead and cook it on this side for a good, I'm gonna go between four to six minutes because it is for the kids and I they have their meat well done. So that's what we're aiming for. But if you guys like your meat more on a raw type of scenario, then you guys already know how to adjust this part. I'm gonna continue to make the tortillas. Ooh. And I'll see you guys on the island as soon as I'm done cooking the steak. I'm gonna do a quick and easy salsa for our tacos. I've already chopped up tomato, onion. You can use serrano or jalapeno and your cilantro. I have the half a juice of one uh, uh, lemon. Yeah, we got seeds, woohoo! Yes, we love the seeds. But keep them in there if you want it for your suegra. But <laughs> um, if you don't take them out okay because i know a lot of kids don't like it but i do have a weirdo in my family that likes to bite into the seeds of the lemon what yep and they're closer to your bloodline cloud thanks <laughs> <laughs> there's always one in the family there's always one so and it had to be mine <laughs> that one's yours all all you girl it's like a tomatito ahí. You know there's nobody left behind that's gonna come in here. You act like you act like you haven't seen all this that we do. I take every last little thing and use it. I'm very grateful. I'm just seeing what people come in. <gasps> oh my goodness, yes. You left the seed. Oh you guys remember I'm not trying to replace your mom's or your theos or your traditional way of making your food. I'm just showing you basics for those of us that needed this, okay? I know I needed this when I first got started. Mm-hmm. You can't be harassing your mamas all the time. And some moms don't even reveal what they use. They really don't. They want you to find your way, and I'm showing you how to find your way. We have a tia that refuses to give her recipes to anyone. Yeah, we really do. And she's not our favorite tia. <laughs> Till she shares her recipe. Exactly. If she hears this, pues ya sabe la tia. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick... Uh, pulse. I don't want it too purified. Just like quick pulse. That's what I'm trying to achieve. Let's see what happens. Ninja, what's up? We're here for you. <laughs> Just like that. You know what? I think I need another tomato in here. Hold on a second. Let me add another one. Se te va a vender esta salsa. Yes. Hold on one second. All right. So yeah, you can kind of see it. Just that tomato didn't give me the color I wanted, and I like my food to be vibrant. So, like fresh and vibrant. I can already smell. It smells great. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt to taste. Need a good amount of salsa for. I mean, salt for your salsa. <laughs> salsa. Get it? Salt. Sal. No, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. She's already pumped up with some tacos, you guys. All right, so let me go ahead. I just want to clarify with you guys that we are doing 4K Ultra HD videos with some really high definition volume. Yeah. You guys know I love you. I'm always going to hook you up. Now let's go ahead and pulse again. Ooh, can I pulse? You got to push and turn. DJ Ninja. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good for me on my end. And the color's gonna change depend on the tomatoes you're using, depend on how much cilantro you use. All those things play a part, but the flavor is in here. Now that's one of our salsas. Next. You can skip the tomatillo if you're allergic to this, but you don't have to. <laughs> That's the great part. So add a tomatillo. It can be a medium, small, um, your desired amount. Your avocado. You're allergic to avocado. Keep it out. I'm using jalapenos because I bought some Texas size jalapenos that were, they're like, girl, make me. Okay. Or those ones you gave me yesterday, they were really spicy. Yeah, they're, they're good, good spicy. They're good. The babies have been handling um, the spice a little bit better like the past two weeks, so. Yeah, they're loving the spice. Yeah. Let me squeeze a little bit of the 
lime juice that's left in here. We take everything. Because this one, you get a lot of citrus on its own with, uh, with the tomatillo. So if you're not adding the tomatillo, make sure. Let me switch my blade. Or I need this other blade. So it's a lot bigger, better. Pressame el trapito, mama. All right, so this one I'm gonna I'm gonna blend pretty well, okay? Depending on how much uh, juice you got out of your tomatillo, that's about how thick or how smooth this is gonna get. You want to go ahead and add a little bit of salt, just a little bit on that one. It's not too much. A little. A little. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of water just so that I can help give it a little bit thinner. That's about a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half of water. And you can leave it thick if you want, okay? But I just think that when you have it a little bit thinner, it makes it a lot easier for you to just go boom, boom, boom on your tacos. What are you going to do to your tacos? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's the beautiful thing about salsas. Whatever you do is good enough. And you can't go wrong. Most people use that bullet to make smoothies. My sister bought it just for her salsa. Hey. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour my salsa over here. And this is a salsa fresca, fresh salsa. You know, sometimes I'm all about making it comfortable for your home, but I'm pretty shook at some of the things I've seen this young youth do with the salsas, girl. Yeah. It's. It's terrifying and I'm also proud at the same time. It's a little confusing, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Why, what kind of crazy combinations? Girl, I don't wanna talk about it cause it's just okay. gonna like, everybody's gonna know like what I'm talking about and I don't like to do that, okay? Oh, okay. I'd rather keep those things internal and deal with it myself. Guys, if you're putting bananas in your salsa, don't do that. Well, there might be one that's good with that. Just saying. With platano? There's, there's creativity, it's just like, I don't know, like, you know how um, there are certain things like with Mexican uh, salsas or things mm -hmm. that you put the apple cider vinegar and like in a salsa, like oh, a fresh salsa, you're putting apple cider vinegar, you're terrifying me. Mm -hmm. Like who puts, who puts that type of vinegar on? Beep, beep. <laughs> um, excuse me, who, pu who puts vinegar? on a fresh salsa. You guys call it a pico de gallo? Your relatives do. Girl, terrifying. This is so good. Let me see that lid. I want to taste the salsa. Thank you so much. This one is quick and spicy. You could, you can adjust the spice on how you want Ooh, it. Oh, that's amazing. That's so good. Everybody always asks, like, how do you do this? This is how you do it. That's deadly. So yeah, girl, I've seen some terrifying ways of making avocado, which you guys know I got you. That one's going to be on its own very, very soon. But I just had a voice set out, some guys. Some guacamole? Yeah, some real guacamole. Like wow. the real deal. Not the jokes you guys see. All right, so now that we have our salsas ready for our tacos, I'm going to go ahead and chop it up. Okay? Hold on just a second. Okay, friends. Here's the wonderful thing about this really wonderful steak, okay? This little piece is going to make a lot of people really happy. You want to be grateful for what you're about to eat. And also, you want to make sure that you rested your steak when you took it off for about a good, I want to say eight minutes, okay? Keep a foil over it, keep it warm, but in order for the juices to remain inside, that's what you have to do, so. You can cut the chunks as big as you want if you want that kind of carne asada taco, but you guys know I'm gonna chop this up really well. It's a lot easier to digest and a lot easier for the babies to chew with or to chew their taco, you know. I always look out for the little kiddos. And the elderly. And the elderly, yeah. I hope you guys are being patient with your with your elderly and your family because it, get, it can get frustrating at times. Thanks for the reminder, girl, with yeah. our mother and our passwords online. Girl. Yes. Be patient with our elderly, guys. We're all going to be there and we all deserve a little compassion. Okay. So now that I've done that, it's going to get loud. So we'll go from there and I just start chopping it up. Okay. Okay. 
and then they start falling apart. I said, the more you do it, you get those nice little. I don't know about you guys, but it takes a lot of work to be a taquero. I hope you guys are tipping your taquero. Taquero's a guy that's chopping up your tacos. They're in that heat making it for you. There's a tip jar there for a reason, guys. Give them some a good tip and they will not forget you. Nope, they won't. You don't have to wait that long on your next tacos, I'll tell nope. you that. I was going to say, you guys have PayPal if you want to tip me, but then they're like, oh, how does she need money if she has monetization on her thing? Like, you can't, I can't even joke with you guys half the time. Somebody's always scrutinizing my words. It's like, the people that are from Sonora, from the north, like, we always get scrutinized that our food isn't authentic, that our tortillas aren't real. All right. I see how it is. No matter how Mexican and proud I am, you guys always got something to say. I mean, those flour tortillas are, they're ancestral. It's, it's our food. Like, of course we're going to defend them. I love corn tortillas too, but... I love corn tortillas, but there's, on flour. there's a flour <laughs> tortilla and a corn tortilla for each different Me. type of taco. Yeah, that's true. You know, you're going to have a carne asada taco. You better, get, you better give me a flour tortilla. Mm -hmm. A non <laughs> baking powder flour tortilla. I just want to clarify that. Give me the real stuff. There's a difference. You know what? There is a difference. The ladies that don't put baking powder in there are the ones doing the work and I know some people just can't do it then don't do it <laughs> then use baking powder there's For something therapeutic about, about hearing the cutting board and the yes. chomping so yeah a friend of mine made something with a baking powder and it tasted like non bread to me yeah, it tastes like naan or it tastes like um, store-bought, like preserved tortillas. Yeah, yeah, when you make really a fresh did. at home, there's no reason for that, guys. Your washer's calling your name. Girl, I know. I'm going to finish chopping it up and then I'll go transition. So he's gonna be like, that's not how you make carne asada. That's right, you do it with real charcoal outside. You want me to go in 110 degree weather, make your taco, let me know. But there better be a big tip with that. There it is, 110 <laughs> outside. <laughs> it really is 110 outside. Come on. You know, guys, we get every once in a while, we get those strays in the channel that kind of lose respect for home cooking and for people, and this is not that kind of channel. People can't just come and leave their junk here and expect us not to say anything when this is your guys' um, happy time. Like, we come here to relax. You know how when you're at the park having, like, you're grilling, you're having a good time with your friends, and then there's somebody that's pacing around your family starting to, like, fight? Like, yeah, wanting to they, fight? And then call the police <laughs> on you? Yeah, 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 for real. And you're like, I was just grilling. <laughs> We're just trying to make tacos, dance, and sing, and have a few drinks. kind of miss those days of barbecuing. It's too hot, girl. Too I hot. I want to know which one of your men ladies is going to eat all of this where you had to make double and triple portions. Or your teenagers at this point. These teenagers can eat, girl. Yeah, these teenagers are like strong too. Wow. Good job, kids. <laughs> Mine I feel like 18, such an old lady. Mine ate 18 tacos in between them. I almost died. Wow. 18. I can do that. No, you can do 20 for sure. Standing or sitting? Standing, I can do 30. Sitting, I can do about 15. Girl, I eat like, I don't know how many tamales on that challenge. Yeah. I was trying to make our people proud. Tamalera. <laughs> All right, friends. This is what I got right here. This is how I like to serve um, my carne asada. So if you even chop this up before your kids get out of school, your hus before your husband gets out of work, you can keep this on your pan and keep it warm. It'll work just as fine, but... I have never heard anybody complain for any type of taco for real. Mm -hmm. So let's so go ahead and set these up for us. Yeah. Mm, you guys excited? <laughs> yeah. Okay, tortilla. Your desired amount of carne. Okay. Ahí les va. Your guacatillo. Your avocado salsa. All right. Look good? Yes. 
gosh. Wait, I'm not done, guys. No cebollitas. You know what? I'm not going to stick around and wait to plate all of these for your guys' thumbnail. Like, this is something you have to have right now. So, ready? <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, this is so good. I'm going to cry. Don't mind me. <laughs> One. Fourteen to go. <laughs> For real. I put some in the hoodie as well. All right, friends. I'm about to chow down. Like when I serve these tacos for my kids, I pretty much roll my tortillas out right outside of my pan like you guys saw me doing right now. And I serve my tacos fresh for them. They gotta make a line to eat. You gotta tell me what you want in your taco and what you don't. I wanna know how many tacos you guys ate, okay? Please leave it in the comments below. If you're new to the channel and you like the way this recipe went, make sure to subscribe, click that bell, show some support, and leave me some comments. Um, on that note, you guys already know what's up. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios! It's important to use a lot of the green salsa for this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, que rico. Yes. Y a mi me piden los tacos con todo. You guys ask me the tacos with everything. If you've never had them with anything, with everything, it's about time you have them with everything. I have somebody that's really hungry staring at me for these tacos, guys. <laughs> and it's not Cloud.